I, I know I, I should not compare with what I experienced, I experienced with a kid, but I see it's with, with kid or with an adult, I, I feel it's similar, but it's just with adult. We don't justify that or we don't explain that clearly. So this is what I've been going through for the last two months. I feel like I'm lost ever, you know. You mean? It's mean like in terms of love, I does not feel that she's the same baby anymore. Obviously. And that's exactly that's when it hit me hard because it reflect back that oh i'm still hold back with her who are oh, she baby. the baby and then i come back to what i'm studying and what i learning and i i forgot that oh, that's what family is like you know when you marry someone or even you're with your own kid you have to learn how to fall in love with again the person every day yeah. again and again and again and that's what called unconditional love because you love them for whoever they turn to be, like they change to be, they grow to be, and grow here, not even physical, I'm talking about love yeah, also. We person. will definitely, will grow in a different mindset, you know, like, I texting about the, the, like my, the guy that we, we, they, we kind of take talking with each other sometimes, and, and I know we still can keep that vibration of conversation because we just grow with a similar speed, you know, I appreciate for him for who he is. I appreciate my, myself for who am I and he do the same thing. And then I reflect back with the kid is the same, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, I miss you when you were young. That sounds like you don't love them now, right? And that's a reflecting a lot. I'm like, oh, they're actually struggling too to love themselves for this age. And now when they keep hear the parrot, oh, I miss you when you were they young. I that, oh, I wish I can go back there. You have to go back there yeah. because when there, you love me more, maybe. Yeah. Now you may love me less, right? So I would change that conversation with myself, with love a lot for these two months that I feel even myself, I'm grow up. And, and, and I feel grow up in terms of how I look at the person that I want to love, even like in my helper. I feel like over years we stay together, our love with each other is born deeper as sisterhood as well because she with me for so long that she just know exactly what I'm going to wear next day, you know, what I will what I will do, what I will eat, what time I do what. And that's what family is. You know the person without asking them. Without having to talk so much. Uh, yes. Become a habit. Yeah. So and that's what love is. And you still love the person even they change, change the style of clothes change the style of hair, change a lot of things about themselves. Actually, that's what they mean by they love them for who they are. Yeah, who they are every day differently though. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's why it's difficult. And that's why I realized that a lot of, I'm not saying that it's the same for everyone, but mm. I realized that a lot of couples who got married um, when they're younger. Mm. Because when you're younger versus when you're older, your growth is very different. Mm. The growth is a lot. Because that's what, as humans, that's what we are meant to do. From young to old, we are supposed to grow. That's a stage where we grow a lot and we change a lot. Mm. So there are a lot of people who get together and get married and get married. Yeah. And then after that, when they both grow, they realize, oh, we grew differently. Yeah. And then they, they, they kind of like, not so stabilized yet. Lah. Yeah. Then when you're older, hopefully, I know there are some people who are old and not stable, but hopefully we become stabler. <laughs> and then after that, we can, you know, growing together. Yes. Of course, I still want to see my girlfriend and her, her, her lovely husband we many many years together maybe in the next few next few more years we come back to like the episode about love again and I, I will ask her again so how was that after the last time i asked you about love how about now you know yeah because actually uh, people usually see us as very loving because we are quite loving but not in the usual like hey i love you no they like, care of each other yeah, really yeah, our care our care is very uh can feel like one, family uh, can yeah. feel, can feel. But then the thing is, uh, I think a few years back, uh, we actually went to, not even married for so long, we married for two years or so, then we went to quite a rough match actually. Mm. To the point where we were thinking, is this actually right? Mm. Like, did we marry the right person? Mm. To the point where we almost like arguing everything. But we are not, we don't put each other down. We yeah. were just, we just had a very a different, chance. yeah, it was a very, it was a period of adjustment. Because two people, you come together to adjust. If you have the kid, adjust the kid. Yeah. Change new job, adjust the kid. So it was a huge period of adjustment for us because our lifestyle is very different. Yeah. His preferred lifestyle and my preferred lifestyle is very different. I keep going out and then he keeps staying in. So it was like a very different Yeah, a different lifestyle. Yeah. So we yeah. have now grown. Because of that, we have grown. 
But you suit suit to go out, you know, you're not. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to go out all the time because I don't like spending time. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I do suit to go out because I realize that if let's say I stay at home for too long, mm. it's just you will go crazy. Time. I get grumpy and grumpy. Yeah. I get so upset. And then I said, I'm like, what is it you want? <laughs> yeah. Can you make up my mind for dinner faster? Yeah. <laughs> but then if you if, then but at that even at the time I was not aware of it myself. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe about a year or so. I'm like, oh. How come after I just go downstairs the garden, I just walk and I feel better? I just needed to go out. Yeah. And talk to random strangers. Yeah. <laughs> I I just have to walk downstairs. Oh, uncle, I I wait for her. Uncle, oh. <laughs> because Singaporeans we usually uh not not all of us friendly. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's the one thing I learned. I have that feedback also because Singapore is so nice. Like you're not normal nice. Like you're nice to everybody. Then I'm tell them I like. What do I earn if I'm go out and crumbly with everybody? Yeah, that's true. I earn nothing from that. But Singapore is not grumpy. We just like cold. A bit, a bit, a bit. Not a bit. When we are so, when we are strangers, we are, we, okay, wait, so far, if you see us in the leaf, right? Yeah. Because we leave in apartments, then you see us in the leaf, right? They're just like, yeah. They're best about it. Yeah. Then everybody face it. Like, it's not because we don't like you or what. It's just our culture here. Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, sometimes I just go down or even because there's a new shopping center near my place now, there's like a three, a five minutes walk. Away. Sometimes I go, just go to the shopping center, I just walk around and around and I, mm. I, I suck all the people's energy. You know, so I feel better than I go <laughs> So yes, I'm an extrovert. I'm a, <laughs> I'm an extrovert too, but like... You're an extrovert too? Since when? Like I'm extrovert when I meet people. It sound like I'm an extrovert, but actually I like to be alone. She's not extrovert. A lot. She's extrovert only if her job requires her to <laughs> That's right. She's an extrovert because it is required that she networks. I, for yeah, her it's a job. That's, that's right. So when she when she go out and network, she needs to stay home and recuperate for three hours. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I have to loan for sure. I just I just, me, just give me my sofa or my bed or my room or and then her phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some nice candle. That's it. That's it. I'm happy. Yeah, I you know. For me, different. If I go, I, I go and network or I go and meet people. The more you go, I mean, the more energy I become. So yeah. Then, so that's, that's why I, now I'm, I'm having a new task for Denise. Mm-hmm. After this show, I will talk to her about that. Because I'm going to send her go to. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's we suit her. I realize that sometimes it can get to the point where I get too hyper. Mm. Like I'm drunk on people. Mm. Even if I'm not drinking alcohol. Yeah. I'm just like <gasps> <laughs> You can tell who likes to work. Yeah. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy your Valentine's Day and and have lots of um yoga exercises mm-hmm. in the privacy of your home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we're talking about right now. You know? Okay. Bedroom therapy. <laughs>